an animal, you deserve to be locked up forever like a diseased animal. Emotional testimony today during sentencing for the man responsible for the deadly shooting at the Chabad of Poway. It's our top story right here on The Four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. Victims and their family members spoke directly to gunman John Ernest, who was sentenced to life without parole, plus an additional 137 years to life for murdering 60-year-old Lori Kay and wounding three others. It was part of a plea deal that allowed him to avoid the death penalty. News 8's Kelly Hassadal live downtown with what the victims said in court. Kelly. Yeah, and Heather and Carla, we heard a wide range of emotions from the victims today, uh, from anger to sadness. We heard from Lori Kay's husband, her friends. Her daughter took the podium and at one point broke down crying. Um, I just have to pull out my laptop. You do whatever you need to do, okay? Just take your Lori Kay's daughter, Hannah, gave an impassioned speech. She described the last moments uh, she had with her mother the day she was killed back in April of 2019. The last time they hugged, the last time they said, I love you, which all took place just hours before the shooting. She describes her mom as her soulmate, her best friend. Here's what she said she felt as the gunfire rang out. I felt my mother die without knowing it on a literal level in those eternal, never-ending, suspended-in-time moments which lasted forever in seconds. When the shots ceased to be and I soon entered the hallway and witnessed the scene of utter, unfathomable shock and chaos, I died with my mother in spirit. Witnessing my father try to revive my mother and fail, not only as her husband, but as a doctor of 40-plus years, was a colossal tragedy in itself, for she died instantly. I sat next to my mother. And she says uh, she went to the hospital. Uh, she says she waited seven hours to see her mother again. And when she did, she says she spoke out loud and told her mom, you gave me everything. She says every day she wonders why her mom was taken from her. Heather and Carlo. Uh, Kelly, so senseless and so heartbreaking. I, I understand that there were also uh, some of the wounded there today as well as some witnesses. What did they have to say to John Ernest? They say they're still dealing with the, both the physical and the emotional pain from this tragedy. Uh, they talked about the pain of being targeted because they're Jewish. But one thing that did come from today, they said, you know, this person tried to break us down. They tried to, this person tried to separate us. We came back stronger and the community wrapped its arms around us. Kelly Hassadal reporting live outside the courthouse downtown San Diego. Kelly, thank you.